Hi, it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a project pan update. Back in January, I did start a year-long project pan, and I will put an annotation um, somewhere as far as um, that first video so that you can see the original products that I started with. Um, as I've been going through using products, I've been adding products in, so some of these products that you'll see me saying I've used up today won't be in that original video. But anyway, um, and I don't think since we're in the month of August, I think I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. Just going to continue to work on the products that are left in the project pan. Anyway, let's get started, and we'll start with the item that I um, do not like, and don't recommend, uh, would never ever repurchase it. But anyway, it's the macadamia healing oil treatment. Um, when I first did the video, I started here or the Project Pam. This is where I was at, and now I'm about down to here. So I have made quite a bit of progress, but it is just slow going. I don't like it. I think it dries my hair out. I I don't like it. Anyway, um, the last Project Pan update, I had put in a new perfume because I had finished up my original perfumes um, that I had put into the Project Pan, so I added a new one, and I put in the Celine Gomez um, Viva More, and I had marked it here, and I am down to here now. Um, love this perfume. I, I got it at Gordon's and probably not for very much. I know probably less than less than $40, I would think. Maybe even less than 30. Anyway, every time I wear this perfume, I get so many compliments on how good I smell. So, next time I go to Gordon's, 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 yeah, it's Gordon's. Um, if I find this again, I'm gonna get it, or you could probably find it on Amazon or someplace like that, but it's the Celine. Selena Gomez Viva More. Oh, it smells good. But if you don't like a powdery scented perfume, you won't like that. So don't get it if you don't like perfumes. And I'm sorry, I am like sweating. I just filmed my um, Nordstrom anniversary sale haul and then I did a try on with everything. I couldn't film it because, anyway, whatever. I just took pictures. So I put on all those winter clothes. And I am hot, super hot. Ugh. Okay, this little guy here was in the original um, Project Pan, and this is the Colleen Rothschild Face Oil Number no. Nine. And I did finish that. Um, I had started here, finished it. It was an okay product. I know there's a lot of people that just rave and rave and rave about this, but um, I just think. For the money, I like the um, Sunday Riley sleeping oil better than this, so I wouldn't repurchase that. Okay, um, what was in here was the remainder of my It Cosmetics CC cream that I was using for my foundation. Um, I did finish it when I started it. It was down to here, which was almost full, and now it's completely done. I love that, and I just recently reordered some more of it because now that I've heard that um, they sold out to L'Oreal It Cosmetics, I'm afraid that the formulation may change so I hurried up and ordered a couple of them to make sure that I had them that are still in the original formula before it changes because you, you know I know they say oh it's not going to change and blah 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 but they always do so anyway okay so then I had also had in the red no this I added in I added this in last time another foundation this is the makeup forever HD high definition foundation in what color are you in 115 this is the old the old formulation and I started here I can't mark it because I used it this morning and I shook it up so now I can't see where I'm at but I don't like this foundation at all so this is going to be a struggle to get through this. But anyway, there we are with that. Um, I guess I'm showing you things that I've not finished first because I had added this guy in. This is from 
Walgreens. It's the Studio 35 Beauty, which is Walgreens brand, of the Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream, 8% AHA. I love this cream. Love it. It's a four ounce. Gosh, it's like less than $10, and this stuff works. Um, I'm just about done with it. Probably like another couple weeks worth of product left in it, and then I'll be done. And then I'm going to go and get another one, providing they haven't changed the formula. Because um, I think if I read or heard somewhere that they reduced the amount of the alpha hydroxies in here. So anyway, love that stuff. As this is a really good um, decollete cream too. Really good, especially if you have sun damage. It's really good. Okay, um, I had this little Laura Geller. Um, Powder in there, the Balance and Brighten Foundation Powder in Porcelain. Just a little travel size. I finished it up. It's done. Gone. I do like that. And I was going through my collection because I wanted to add another face powder. And I found that I have the Lore um, Geller, the same thing, but in the color Fair. No, in regular. This one was in the color porcelain. Anyway, I have these in regular, and I have like four of these. I don't know how I got four of them, but anyway, so I'm adding this powder in. I just said I wasn't going to add anything in, but anyway, I am adding this powder in. And I've been using it ever since I finished up that other powder. I have some other powders that I finished too, but um, I've already made a pretty good dent because it was domed, and now it's flattened out, so making good headway with that. Um, I had added this Clinique powder in. This was from a Today, on a Today Special Value, a gift with purchase. This was the Supernatural Powder Makeup, and um, apparently they don't make this anymore. So, and I really liked this. But yeah, I finished it. It's gone. I finished up this guy here, which was the UV Natural 100 Mineral. Sun Kill SPF 42 powder. This had came in one of my um, my Mimi boxes, and it had this little sponge applicator. I didn't care for um, certain mineral powders for whatever reason. When it's hot, make my face itch like you would not believe, and this one did. This I cannot stand it. Even though I could wear the Laura Geller, which is a mineral powder, it didn't seem to itch me as bad as what this did. Whoops, I went repurchase that. Um, I had a bronzer in there from Sephora. This is the Sephora brand, um, Los Cabos. And I finished it up. I think this is the second bronzer or the third bronzer. I can't remember. How many bronzers did I have? This is the second bronzer. I had two bronzers in um, my project pan. The other one was the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And I finished both of those up. So I'm very excited that I actually finished up two bronzers this year. And actually, I had a small one. After I finished that, I brought out a Bare Minerals little travel one that I had. And I finished it. And I'm working on this little hula one. This little small hula. And I made a pretty good dent with it. So I think I'll end up finishing this too. So that's pretty good for finishing that many bronzers. Um, I had added in this um, Makeup Forever High Definition Primer, the HD. It was okay, not my favorite. I think, to me, this works, or the um, the Nivea um, Shave Balm works just as good as what this does, and it's a whole lot cheaper than that. So, but um, I'm going to add. Gosh, I said I wasn't going to add anything. What? Anyway, I'm adding in the Chanel. Base Lemire Illuminating Makeup Base. I'm adding that in and I'm going to be working on finishing this up and so we're going to mark it. So I'm marking it there is where I'm at with it. I'm going to finish that. I had added into the original, was it the original project pan? Yes, I think it was some mascaras. I did finally use those up and this is the Mally Volumizing Mascara. This is a wonderful mascara to have in your arsenal of mascaras. It really helps to 
plump up the lashes and I just find that it layers really good with other mascaras. It is a dry mascara. Um, it comes out dry so if you really like a dry mascara you would like that and you can find these at um, Ulta. Also on QVC they do a lot of um, like bundle packs with those. And then the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. I liked the, the formula of this. It's just that brush. This brush was so pokey that I had a tendency to kind of poke my eye with it. And that's the only thing was that brush just was not comfortable to use. Um, oh, these little guys. These little guys are like never ending. These were in the original... Project Pan video. I'm still working on them. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Still working on it. And the Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia. And it's because I forget to use them. Even though I have them sitting right by my vanity mirror, I just forget. I'm not, I don't really care too much for this. And it may be getting, because it's getting kind of goopy. It may be about time to go. That may be why I'm not liking it. But anyway, still working on those. Another two products, actually the next four products I'm still working on, have been using since day one of the Project Pam, and that is these guys right here. This is the Physician's Formula Eyelash Booster Eyeliner in black and then brown, and I did finish up a brown. If you are wanting a really good liquid eyeliner from the drugstore I would get these hands down wonderful um, they only I think they only come in the two colors though the black and the brown um, they're supposed to have boosting serum in them that's supposed to help your eyelashes grow I don't see anything along that effect but I do know that's a really good liquid felt tip eyeliner um, yeah so if you're looking for one from the drugstore that is comparison to the, the Kat Von D Trooper, I would try the Physician's Formula. And then the last two items I have are these two MAC eyeshadows that were put in the um, original Project Pam video. And I have not made any headway with these whatsoever. I just haven't. I just haven't been using them that much. I mean, I've made a little bit, but... These definitely are not going to be an empty before the end of the year. I, I know that, and I think probably a couple months ago, I said I would be happy if I even just hit pan on them, but I don't even see me doing that. It's not that they're bad eyeshadows. I mean, this one right here, this is the, um, the Crystal Avalanche. I can't tell you how many of these I have gone through. Tons of them. And I found these at the CCO. It's in the... It was one of those limited collections that came out. I forgot what it was. Something to do with Sailor. And I bought a whole bunch of them. And I'm just, I think because I'm just not into the frosty white eyeshadow anymore like I used to be. I used to wear this all over the eye and then put my other eyeshadows on it. Um, I need to just start using this as a, high, as a highlighter. I really do. I just forget. I forget because I have other highlighters I like. And then this one is called um, Fresh Daisy. And I don't even think you're going to even use or get this anymore. I think it's discontinued. Again, it would make a good um, face highlighter. But I just, or inner corner. But gosh, if you're just using it in the inner corner of your eye, I mean, it's going to be like many moons before you get done with that. But. Anyway, so that is it for my Project Pan update. I'm really proud that I have used up so many makeup items. I mean, it's really easy for me to use up skincare because I am an avid skincare user and I use lots of skincare. But to um, actually use up some powder products and some makeup products is really, really, really good because I have a ton and which. If you're watching this, you probably are a makeup collector also and know what I'm saying here. So, anyway, I'm going to quit rambling. Goodbyes are so hard and I keep looking. I hope I'm not, I hope I don't have raccoon eyes. There's one video that you would have seen before this, a mask review. <laughs> oh my stars. Mm, 
that was bad and if I hadn't had so much problem uploading that video I wouldn't even have done it but anyway there's another video that you would have heard my rant about my stupid uploading <laughs> woes but anyway thank you so much for joining me today I'll talk to you soon bye